Begin tonight with the latest on the deadly motorcycle crash in New Hampshire that killed seven people. Close to 30 victims and family members showed up to the Coas County Court this afternoon to watch as the man who is accused of slamming into a pack of motorcyclists on Friday evening faces charges of negligent homicide. But Vladimir Zakovsky never showed. Local 22's Haley Boulay joins us now with an update on what exactly transpired in the past few hours. Vladimir Zukovsky was supposed to appear in Coas County Court Tuesday afternoon for his arraignment. Instead, according to the court, he waived that right and pleaded not guilty. Seven hand-drawn American flags placed proudly in the rain in front of the courthouse. And on those flags, the faces of the seven victims lost in Friday night's motorcycle crash in Randolph, New Hampshire. Their names, Michael Ferrazzi, Albert Mazza, Desma Oaks, Aaron Perry, Daniel Pereira, and Joanne and Edward Kaur. All riding as members and supporters of the Marine Jarhead Motorcycle Group, they were on their way to a fundraiser at the nearby American Legion. 23-year-old Vladimir Zukovsky, according to court documents, was heading in the opposite direction when he crossed the center line, colliding with the riders. Three others were injured. Reports show Zukovsky has a lengthy criminal history. His most recent offense was an OUI arrest in Connecticut last month. Zukovsky had been released on bail and was expected to be arraigned on those charges this week. His trial on the New Hampshire crash is scheduled for the end of the year. Zukovsky is being held at the Coas County Department of Corrections office without bail. In Lancaster, New Hampshire, Haley Boulay, Local 22 News.